Artur Baturbiev versus Dimitri Bivol. Undisputed light heavyweight championship, June 1st. You know how I feel about this fight. No need to praise it any more than I already have. As far as how I see it going, I've been going back and forth for a long time now. And maybe I'll still go back and forth after this video, we'll see. But as it stands right now, I'm leaning towards Baturbiev. Bivol's got fantastic speed, great footwork. He's obviously very physically fit. He's got the stamina. Most of his fights go the distance. He'll certainly be the fastest fighter that Baturbiev has fought as a pro. And he can overwhelm opponents with that hand speed, particularly early in fights. Although with Canelo, he kind of overwhelmed him later on in the fight. But there's an old adage in boxing, timing beats speed. And more specifically, a well-timed jab can subdue a much faster opponent. And Artur Baturbiev has not only a well-timed jab, but a tremendously powerful one, a damaging one. He bludgeons you with it, breaks you down with it. Now, the last time I did a video about this fight in terms of breaking down the matchup, I spoke about how Alexander Vozdek was able to take Baturbiev late into the fight and have some success in terms of winning rounds. And I see Vozdek as similar to Dmitry Bivol, but a bit slower, although hits a bit harder, I would say. So perhaps Dmitry Bivol with the extra speed can go one better than Vozdek and actually last the distance and maybe nick a points decision, it's very possible. But one of the things that's making me lean away from that possibility is the fact that we've seen Dimitri Bivol get pinned on the ropes in a number of fights, most notably against Canelo Alvarez. If Canelo's pinning you on the ropes, and he did it several times in the early rounds, I have to figure Artur Baturbiev is going to get you on the ropes too eventually. And Baturbiev will do a lot more damage than Canelo Alvarez. And we've seen just in Baturbiev's last Last couple fights alone and well throughout his whole career nobody's ever gone a distance with him but he can do a tremendous amount of damage in a very short space of time all he needs is to pin you on the ropes for a few seconds i know dimitri bivol's got a very tight guard but baturbiev will punch right through that guard he'll also hit you on the shoulders hit you in the body hit you on the arms he's breaking you down when he's doing all that i think that in order for dimitri bivol to win he's gonna have to fight basically perfectly for 12 rounds can't get pinned on the ropes at all. Bivol's got a great jab, but Baturbiev's got a great jab as well. That's another thing I worry about for Dimitri Bivol is how he's going to deal with Baturbiev's jab. Another old adage in boxing, you can't hook with a hooker, but you can jab with a jabber. And if they're exchanging jabs, Baturbiev's going to be doing more damage with his. Now look, I'm certainly not writing Dimitri Bivol off. In fact, shout out to uh, Devin, who I was talking to in my element group the other day. He's picking Dimitri Bivol in the fight. And he reminded me about the fact that Artur Baturbiev has been cut in the past. And at 39, 40, whatever he is now, your skin starts to lose its elasticity and scar tissue can open more easily. And it's a very good point. With that being said, we saw Artur Baturbiev suffer a terrible cut against Marcus Brown. And he still came back to stop the guy. <laughs> you know, Baturbiev's face was a mask of blood, but he simply would not be denied. It's one thing to get cut and go on and win the fight on points, but no, Baturbiev stopped him. He got him out of there. So he's battle-hardened. He's been in all types of tough situations. He's battled through adversity and stopped everybody he's faced. And he does have an arrogance about him. He does have a swagger about him, Artur Baturbiev. He dominates his opponent psychologically in the ring with his underrated ring IQ, his jab, his presence, his punching power, and his physical strength. He's a tremendously physically strong Artur Baturbiev. I mean, Anthony Yard is a massive light heavyweight, very physically strong himself, and he couldn't stand up to Baturbiev. The guy is a physical beast. I don't think there's anyone at light heavyweight that can actually trade with him and come out on top. I mean, Joe Smith Jr. tried, and look what happened to him. It won't be unless or until Artur Baturbiev moves up to cruiserweight and again he might not do that given his age but it's only then that he would actually meet people that can maybe match him for physicality 175 pounds i don't see it not that you necessarily need to match him for physicality in order to beat him but it certainly helps as i say i think dimitri bivol is going to have to box the perfect fight stay off the ropes for the whole 12 rounds constant movement find a way to land your jab without getting hit by his <laughs> 
it just seems like a very difficult puzzle to solve. I'm looking forward to see if Dimitri Bivol can solve it nonetheless. So that's where I'm at. I'm leaning towards Baturbiev right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And by the way, I'm only covering three of the six fights on this card here on my YouTube channel. I'm covering the other three on my Patreon page. So if you want access to those, along with a load of other exclusive boxing content, head on over to my Patreon page and select the boxing tier. There's no contract, no commitment. You can cancel at any time, just like Netflix, but it's a whole lot cheaper. We've even got a members chat on there. So yeah, come join us.